A second rounder doesn't normally generate much hype, especially a late one. But Lane Hudson is no ordinary second rounder. Small and slight, but electrifying and dynamic, with the US national team development program, he took over shifts, orchestrating every action and reaction on the ice like a puppet master. With Boston University, Hudson has found another level. He's cranked the creation dial up to 11, creating even more chances, scoring more goals, and improving his defense against better competition. Crasso right side. Crasso forced. Now here comes Lane Hudson the other way. Left side's good company, he's got green. Hudson holds in front of the goal! Lane Hudson delivers the Terriers in overtime! With Puck on Stick is where Hudson's at his best, his deception and creativity shine. This is his go-to move, skate towards incoming pressure, shift his weight laterally as he brings the puck to his backhand, then return and accelerate down the outside. Previously, Hudson relied too heavily on that move. Now, against better competition, he's found new, creative ways to create using the same skills that that play requires. Hudson fakes on just about every pass reception, steps into space before separating, and constantly changes speeds in the point of attack. He cuts away from pressure, attacks the inside, and shifts in and around defenders to create shooting lanes. That's a clever shot under a defender's stick after riding his inside edges. This cut to the middle is more sudden and explosive. That's what those plays will look like in the NHL. His handling and skating movements are smaller, rapid fire changes of pace when possible, but he can go from fast to slow and back again, like with this delay to draw pressure only to dangle through it, or this pivot turn to invite the defender's feet to turn before attacking space wide. He challenges defenders to races, only to cut back as soon as they make up ground. As shown, all of these skills primarily fuel his playmaking. Once he's in deep, he stays in deep. Notice the stop and look off as he waits for his target to get open. Off puck, he positions deep, creating opportunities to pinch or hold the line, then sets up teammates for chances. And this is just an incredible example of his many skills, the handling, edges, and playmaking. Here's how he did it. He moves to the middle on the pass reception. The defender follows. He angles towards them, inviting the poke check in turn, which creates a lane to the inside. He sets up the pass by a faking shot and slowing down. As soon as the defender turns to challenge Hudson, he passes in the now open passing lane. High paced deception to manipulate defenders, that's about as good as it gets at any level. The play creation and play making also appear in transition. He does his best work in transition not when spearheading the breakout, but when activating above his forwards or receiving a breakout pass from his partner that beats forechecking pressure. Once he's up ice, he's fully invested, starting give and goes, finishing his roots, and creating. After beating a forechecker with a weight shift, he cuts inside and finds a teammate cross ice, a common play. The constant activation allows him to convert broken plays into chances. And it's that rush activation that explains Hudson's newfound goal scoring touch. He has 7 in 16 games after having just 10 in 60. Yes, he's benefiting from a 15% conversion rate that's likely to regress, but his shots are up from 2.4 to 3.6 per game, and his scoring chances are up from 1.3 to 2.1. That's a significant leap. By the numbers, Hudson's a better player than he was last year. Remember, that's going from largely USHL and international play to full-time NCAA competition. He leads BU in time on ice per game by over 40 seconds and even strength minutes by over a minute. By tracking data, he's made a sizable improvement. The playmaking remains equally strong despite the massive boost in shooting. He's opting for passes or carries over dumpouts more often on breakouts. His defense has improved, nearing average, and his retrievals look much better this season, even if the growth hasn't been sizable in the numbers. Let's start with the defense. Hudson's always had a knack for getting stops like these. He's getting more stops by pivoting, skating across, and engaging to force the dump in. A tighter off-puck gap means he's getting earlier stops too. He's still prone to getting walked through and he can't always beat the attacker to the puck. 
He overskates, creating space on his heels for attackers to get to the middle, and he has to go all out to catch even relaxed attackers. Skating remains an issue, but he's also taken a pretty sizable leap forward physically. Better skaters get a clean stop here, but watch how he doesn't quit and fights for body positioning and eventually secures the puck. On retrievals, he wins positioning, cuts back, and then exits. Still, he only escapes with possession on retrieval 67% of the time, a below average mark, partly because of poor decisions, like he'd benefit from using the middle more instead of passing to covered teammates along the boards. But Hudson's also more patient in transition, he's more willing to cut back to evade pressure now. It's apparent here where the cutback shakes pressure, then Hudson starts a give and go to gain the offensive zone. There's one last thing, Hudson could become even better offensively. Right now, his game is based on long, drawn-out possessions. He misses opportunities to pass for a chance, instead hoping he can create something better down the line. His skating and lack of explosiveness often prevent that. Sometimes, he just can't find separation no matter what he does. Even if he turns the opponent's feet, they can recover and get a stop. As such, his margin for error is very slim. For players with better tools, it's a game of inches. For Hudson, it'll be a game of millimeters. To improve his odds, Hudson could lean heavier on quick possession plays like these. They are more NHL style plays. Moving through pass receptions consistently will create more space for him too. A lot of Hudson's improvements will come with added weight. Listed at just 155 pounds, more weight and strength will allow Hudson to maintain a deeper stance. It'll reduce the times that his cuts bring him to a complete stop and partially eliminate the awkwardness. Even as the game evolves, Hudson's style will likely have to change a fair bit to make the NHL. The good news? It's already started. His short NCAA career proves that he has that high level ability to adapt, overcome, and find new ways to create even as the competition ramps up. And there is one certainty. No matter where Hudson ends up in the lineup, he will put on a show. That's what he's done at every level, and there's no signs of him slowing down. Enjoyed this video? Don't forget to like and subscribe, then check out epringside.com.